It looks like we're finally going to be loading up this first game here as we're going to have Raven King versus Tony Z Tank Ike versus Sonic PS2, this, baby. This is such a tough matchup for slow characters in general, but especially Ike, who I feel like has to jump and commit to a lot of these swings, just gets whiff punished very easily by spin dash and dash attack from Sonic. That said, Raven King, super talented Ike player. Wouldn't be shocked if he's got some secret sauce for this matchup. But so far, Tony just holding the lead, staying very patient, spin dashing from one side to the other, and while wow, clanking, quick, quick draw out with the spin dash. And so, luckily for me, I got to see Raven King play Supergirl Kells uh, prior, a little bit earlier in bracket, and yeah, he has some stuff. Uh, one thing he likes to do is like kind of hover over these PS2 platforms or jump from one side to the other if the Sonic starts camping. Um, on top of that, he had really good back airs out of shield for whenever Sonic would do spin dash and then jump. He would immediately, boom, bear out of shield, get some damage. All right, so he came prepared for this matchup. A lot of Sonic players will just bank on that cross up being safe, but not against Raven King or anybody with some good out of shield reactions. Wow, charging that homing attack, <laughs> I know nothing. Actually getting punished by Ike's dash attack. And now that Raven King has the slight percent lead here, this is where things are going to go off the rails. This isn't in Tony's game plan, right? He's not ready for the uh, part of the match where he's behind. And you're going to still see him play it patient. He's got five plus minutes left on the clock. No reason not to. Ooh. Wow, if that hit. Yeah, I didn't have the timing, but it didn't even matter. Nair to up air. Clean swipe and Tony Z tank and sent to his second stock. Raven Ken looking good here and having Supergirl Kells as a warm up before Tony Z tank definitely helping out here. Already hella familiar with the matchup and having a good time as well. Wow, 33 just like that. Yeah, the Aether bounce into the up air off the ledge. That was super cool from Raven King. Very unconventional, but it still worked out. And the quick draw just challenging him air to air, saying, you know what, man, get off my back. I have very few quick escape tools as Ike, but gotta use the ones that you do have. Here we go, immediately wave landing to that platform, able to catch the spin dash with the lingering hitbox in Nair. And he's gonna go ahead and summon that platform, man. He's having a good time. You saw he tried to catch it with Nair again, but Tony Z Tank was just a little bit later with the timing. Tony, you're trying to land that spring and throw up Ike's recovery. Just a quick air dodge from Raven King gets it back and he's Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Whoa! Alright, catching him out of the air with Aether. I'm loving this from Raven King. Taking some crazy risks, but you know, they're hard call outs. Ooh, and that back air comes out so deceptively quick. Tony Z Tank did not have a chance to blink before that connected with this all air. And ooh, good rolling. All right, down throw bear. Raven King keeping the damage coming here. Building double extra credit. Like, bro, you got a 200 average in this class. You're telling me you need to do more assignments? Ooh, oh, auto cancel quick draw, saving his life there. Oh, and we live in. Here we go. Quick draw. Manages to get through the spring. And now another chance for Raven King to get even more damage here. God, this is terrifying to watch Tony Z Tank. Oh. Nice try, nice try. Go up air coming out. Raven King going for the up tilt, falling there. Still not going to connect here. There we go. That's a conversion. And Raven King with the down air. What off the what? <laughs> what the what? Sour dare being the end of that match. I don't think I would have ever in a million years guessed that's how that was going to finish. But hey, Raven King certainly not complaining about it. Going to put himself up 1 0 against his Midwest brethren. Nice start to the set, but wow. Yeah, Sonic players love reaching through the ledge like that with the up air, and Raven King saw that coming a mile away. That was, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'll take it, though. It's kind of like, kind of cool. Definitely didn't expect it to look like that. I thought we were going to see him sent to the Shadow Realm, but instead got sent to Heaven. Just, you know, equally as bad. He got sent to the West Coast, man. <laughs> All the way to the and three hours backwards. All right, going into the next game here. I don't think we're going to see either of these guys switch characters. They're pretty much loyalists. Um, also, looking at the Nebraska power ranking for ultimate, and yeah, Tony C. Tank only has Sonic next to his name. I feel like that's pretty typical as well for Sonic players. Generally, just play one character. Yeah, I'm right. There's Kells, there's uh, Crap, there's Ken, got Tony Z Tank. There's too many to, to list, but. 
so far, I mean, Raven King has been slaughtering them all to get here, man. Yeah, and Ike making it all the way. Oh my goodness, here we go. Nice grab. Gets the up air as well. Tony Z tank stuck in the corner here. Beautiful down air coming out from Raven King. Won't be able to get anything off of the hit on shield though, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm liking this town and pick for uh, for Tony Z tank. I think it's working out. Yeah, it gives him a lot of space to work with. A lot of room for Ike to have to run in with his super slow speed, try to close that distance, and then those easy whiff punishes. Sonic just has to back up a little bit to make him miss. All right, the fair out of shield though. Raven King with stage control. Let's see what he can make out of it. And see, the tough part for Raven King here, oh my goodness, what a hard read, is that unlike on PS2 where he has those two platforms he can kind of just run away to if he doesn't feel like dealing with the spin dash, since they're off the stage on this map, well, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because he just found that air to up air and KO Tony Z tank, like, well, it'd be like that sometimes, I guess. On that high ceiling, too, here on Town and City. I'm surprised that 104 after the hit was enough to do it, but Tony Z tank immediately going to respond, and he's right back in this. Sonic with the lead in this matchup is terrifying, even if it's just a few percent. Oh, some good momentum here, just taking 35 off the first opening. Oh, interesting homing attack, not going to connect there. Didn't quite block on as yet hope, but... I mean, Tony Z-Tank looking good on this second stock here. Has a good 87 in counting. Racked up on Raven King. Raven King having trouble getting back down to the floor. But as I say that, it gets a nice turnaround. Ooh. Oh, if he got gonna... grabbed there, that would have been yeah. pretty pretty bad. Empty landing mix-ups from Raven King. Something you have to have is like too. Just because he entices your opponent to shield so much. With that fear factor. A couple confirms being missed for Raven King. Those are super costly. Ike's openings in this matchup are minimal. Gonna make them all count super hard. Oh, Raven King is looking for the grimy stuff right now. Take full advantage of the fact that Ike hits like a truck. Sonic, he's got to take his hits as they come. You know, a couple light ones here and there. Oh! Oh, hey! oh that's so that was unfortunate. Hot. <laughs> that was hot, though. <laughs> He just knew that Tony Z Tank was going to roll in. Oh, yep, down throw up air. Just keeps chunking him for this solid damage. Oh, man, just to avoid the spring there, too. Oh, oh. oh I thought he was going to air dodge and get forward smash. I was sweating for him. Playing against like even watching somebody play against like utterly terrifying. It's like you feel like you shouldn't be getting hit, but then he just finds it anyway. And oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, he's a baller for that. <laughs> you know, who want me? The Lakers, bro. <laughs> oh, so sad that he couldn't close out the game like that. Also, shout outs to the Catalyst. <laughs> but yo, uh, this is still certainly within reach for Tony. Whoa, I thought we were going to see the up air for the game right there. Maybe you just didn't believe. He just needs one more clean hit. I mean, he's Ike. It's gonna come here. I mean, Tony Z Tank has to play perfect. This is a good chance. Oh, can't get the gimp. This means Raven King's gonna be able to get the stage just fine here. Those side platforms, just such a factor in this match so far. Sometimes they'll be completely negligible, and then sometimes they're in the way all the time. This was one of those games, and Raven King gonna capitalize, put himself at a 2 0 lead here against Tony. Man, this matchup's not great. Uh, I'm really impressed yeah. by Raven King's knowledge here. Like you said, he had to beat Supergirl Kells in a close set to get here, too. Yeah, and even before that, I know he had to play another Sonic. I'm like, who was the other one that Tony had to play? All right, now Tony, uh, Raven King had to play. I can check it right now. But we had to play Super Striker. That didn't go his favor, though. Ready? All right, here we go. Game three. So far, it's been a tough run for Tony Z Tank as Raven King has just kind of been slapping him. Yeah, that's not looking great. I mean, if you saw this, you'd think Sonic struggles against big swords. But, I mean, Tony Z Tank, really good player. Kind of flies under the radar for a lot of people, being that he's from Midwest and specifically from Nebraska that doesn't have a lot of exposure. But uh, their top players are really good. Skittles, his brother Skilly, and Tony Z Tank rounding up the top 3D. Meanwhile, everybody knows Chicago is kind of strong. And Raven King, even though he's not like in the top 3 over there, he's still really good. 
Yeah, it's kind of like that relativity where like yeah. he's really good, but then you just have like so many players in the area. Oh, oh, yo, Raven King's a madman, dude. Raven King. This guy's got quite a set on him. And there we go. Making this a very uh, tough game for Tony's E-Tank, but even as we say that, he actually does have the percent deficit, but like, it's, it's Ike with range, so you never, ever feel like you're safe. Tony just scouting out that huge read attempt from Raven. Not gonna work out for him, and now we see Sonic with the stock lead. First time in the set. This is where we could really start to see it slip out of Raven King's hands. Potentially the beginning of a reverse 3-0. Drops the combo off the spin dash, but wow, somehow that homing attack hit. Looking like a Sonic Adventure 2 hitbox right there. Oh, my God. Oh, almost. Raven King dropping a few of these Nair confirms, especially in a game where you're behind. You can't be doing that. Wow, he is crazy. What? Yeah. <laughs> Tony like, oh, dude, God. Three smashes in the span of five seconds. And now he's up two stocks. Yeah, this is almost resignation territory. Right, throw him back. Two stocks against Sonic and Ike. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's trying to the schmix, man. A lot of people, after you jab their shield once, they try to roll behind out of fear. Oh, so close. But yeah, just taking this first stock is going to be a very difficult task for Raven King as he slips through with the back air. All right. Still alive. And Raven King got a little bit of work to do, but at least he's up two games, so if he doesn't win this one, still got two more to work with here. Tony Z Tank pushing forward, forces Raven King off stage, good position to be in. Uh, tries to read the low recovery, but it looks like he goes high, so. Oh, back ahead of Nair catching Tony, just being a little bit too anxious. By the way, I've almost called Tony Z Tank Sonics about 24 times throughout this set. Any Wi Fi Sonic is Sonics when I say that. <laughs> I'll feel you, bro. They all come. I mean, they have their differences, but man, it... Oh, God. Yeah, at least, I, I don't know. I don't know. But sometimes you just gotta foreglory it, I guess. Yep, that's, uh, you know, when in Rome, right? Oh, oh, and he caught a brawl with that back air out of spin dash. In the air, you gotta watch yourself for sure. On the ground, that moves ridiculous. Yeah, what if Raven King won this? I wouldn't put it past him, man. You can see Tony's a little shook, man. Sticking to the corner, going for that charge, okay. but it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, give Sonic that grab, and it doesn't matter how shook you are. Definitely wanted a punish there, but... Shielding a dash attack at 0%? Ah. Even if he got a dash attack, it's not like he would have gotten anything after that, so... Right. Alright. Okay. Just like that, you're going to be going to game four. This time it's going to be counter pick for Raven King, so probably going to hop off town and city. Yeah, this all boils down to the first stock, honestly. I'd say if Raven King gets it, Tony's going to have a terrible time trying to chase him down, and honestly, vice versa. Just in different ways. Sonic can't challenge Ike's hitboxes. Ike can't challenge Sonic's speed. But for the slugfest of the first, you know, minute, minute and a half before one of them dies, things could be really interesting. I want to see how careful Raven is with his approaches. So I feel like now that he's been able to go back to PS2, I feel like this is probably the best possible pick for Raven King, honestly, just based off of what I've seen today. He definitely seems the most comfortable on that stage, and that falling up air was clean. Beautiful. Making sure to get the follow-up off of it, too. And the reverse up is out of shield, man. Sonic players think they can cross you up for free and just stop their spin dash sometimes. Mm -hmm. Not against characters with good up bees out of shield or even up smashes. Just anything that hits there. Wow! What are you swinging at, Chief? Smoke. Embarrassing. That was ridiculous. And now Raven King, like we said, man, first stock going to determine so much for the rest of this game. And already, you see Tony kind of just rushing in. Sonic not very well equipped to that. He needs to use his movement to bait and punish, not to just storm in. But when you're down to stock, man, you got to make some action happen. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Jesus! Ooh, that's tough. <laughs> that is, uh, that's... There's no coming back from that, man. Tony's E-Tank. Oh, no, bro. I think you had a few of my brother. Like, easily one of the hypest characters on Wi-Fi, man. Because all the stuff that narrowly doesn't work in real life, oh, you're going to get hit by that. Throwing the nail in the coffin there is 
Raven King. Three stocks. Only 106%. Beautiful anti-air conversion off of the throw. Almost gets a three-piece as well. And he's fine with just... Oh! oh no way! Oh! Fine with just mashing on the side B. He could kind of stalemate spin dash with that. Wow. This man wants it all. Another well, one. <laughs> I really thought he was going to forward smash try to break the shield. I really did. I could just see him, like, in his chair at home, like, grooving, you know? Rocking a little bit. Like, yeah, I'm about to dunk on this Sonic. Let me just throw everything out. Oh, oh. and Tony swinging the wrong way with the forward smash. Maybe looking for a hard read on a roll. So close to dying right there. Finally going to close the stock out. Back air. He's got so much ground to make up for right now. Ike is not light. You can kill him easily if you gimp him, but there you go. Roll back into the dash attack, and it's going to be Raven King advancing 3-1 to one over Tony Z Tanks. The final Midwest representative left in the bracket now that he's defeated his uh, compatriot there. And he'll be going on to fight the loser of uh, one of our winner's bracket matches. Yeah, that was a uh, pretty disgusting JB3 stock to close out that one. But said so we got more matches to see tonight. Let's hurry up on to the next one.